Mr. Alba, do you want to say hi? No, let's go the tenth day why did you do that to me? You have nothing else to dog I just wanted to exercise a little I've left Dylan for ten days and I feel great now I'll succeed soon sorry to interrupt excuse me, does Wendy line here? Yes, how can I help you? Hi, Wendy I'm Vincent nice to meet you Mr. Mr. Vincent, nice to meet you too he's Vincent, a world class piano player well. I've always been very interested in folk music I watched a video of your performance at the come interview, and you impressed me so, I asked your school for your address on July 9th, I will begin a concert tour in the harbour would you like to play on the stage with me? Yes, I'd like to it's my pleasure evening, in the study. Room sorry, the number you dialed isn't answering right now please try again later hang up I can accept that she used all sorts of excuses not to meet but she doesn't answer the phone now have they they got back together rehearsing Mr. Alba, Mr. Vincent, an old friend of your father, has a concert on the Moy on the 9th here's your invitation put it here your father and Mr. Vincent were very close will you go? I'll decide later three days later. On the Moy I'm still nervous even though I've practiced many times time playing with a world renowned master but I believe in you come on wait dangerous, do not imitate despise thinking of what to say you you're on the fourth floor. Oh, no I managed to make it 13 days all my previous efforts are now in vain hi what a coincidence it really is a small world she's changed she's no longer the girl who only thought of me that's him? Mr. Alba. This is Ian Jordan F one half F degrees F one half F degrees F one half F degrees one is her earlier crush, and the other is her boyfriend that's hilarious god I want my peaceful life back no more excitement, please follow me don't you, fight? You should at least secure your position Wendy sorry, Mr. Alba expects no interruptions I'm with her I'm her friend did you come with Ian Jordan? Of course not I came with yet and happened to meet him downstairs he got on the elevator alone tell me about the summer camp well why'd he ask that all of a sudden? Has he found out? Tell me when you figure it out I feel like I'm trapped in a huge swamp stuck in the quagmire I lied to you I didn't go to the summer camp. Why? A lie will only be followed by more lies I have no choice but to continue to lie because, we have completely different families I don't think I deserve you being with you makes me feel stressed you're my girlfriend and should be responsible for me don't ever try to leave me do you understand? Yes I lost my memories because of the car accident it's you who I saw first after waking up it's still you who I trust most please no more lies okay. I won't lie again I'll return to work and fly to Munich the day after tomorrow I want you to come with me F3 quarters F superscript O F degrees N F F3 quarters F superscript O F degrees N F have we done that before? No how did we go on dates? We usually took a walk in the park near my home well, I'm here to play with Mr. Vincent I need to go backstage and get ready I'm looking forward to your excellent performance tonight. Combining the lute and piano was unexpectedly wonderful it was so gentle and refreshed my soul it was beautiful I didn't think that Wendy would be tonight's mystery guest me neither I won't go to Vincent's concerts anymore that little known star is also here I heard the waiter called him Mr. Alba there aren't many people with the surname Alba in this city is he the Mr. Alba in Unnesep what did you say? Dylan Alba would never have any interest in Wendy you're right Wendy doesn't deserve Mr. Alba shall we go backstage and take a photo with Vincent? Besides, didn't you just unfollow him? Right, if we go backstage we may meet Wendy now intoxicated by success we won't like that sister, what do you think of Lucy? I saw her here she and Ian look like a good much she's only Wallace Ween's stepdaughter her mother used to be Wallace Ween's secretary and her biological father is a taxi order, she and Ian. You praise her too much Ian Jordan's aunt Ian Jordan's mother she came from such a poor family, forget it I thought that I had finally become a member of high society after all these years but people who smile at me secretly insult me instead, Wendy, the girl on the stage tonight, is excellent and elegant plus, she's Wallace Ween's biological daughter didn't Wallace Ween abandon them? and he's ignored them for years but Wendy is still the real Miss Ween for us, 
What really matters is status Wendy she's rude and impolite to her further she didn't get Ian Jordan and then seduced another man she doesn't deserve the praise I'm pretty, smart, and well liked by others I also have a good personality am I not better than her? I should have greeted you before the concert but I came late and almost missed it I went to see Wendy's younger brothers because of their psychotic episodes psychotic? Wendy's brothers? Yes, one is autistic and the other is diagnosed with PTSD their illnesses are scary and genetic, sadly and you went to visit them? You're so kind Wendy doesn't see you as her family don't say that Uncle Wien is nice to me, and they are his kids, after all I want to help them as much as I can you're a sweet girl by the way, where's Ian? He's in the bathroom we're waiting for him. Ian, F1 quarter F3 quarters F1 quarter, auntie, let's go what's going on? Outside the backstage why did you come out here alone? Where's Mr. Alba? He's talking with Mr. Vincent I'll wait for him here excuse me can I say something to you? Well yeah Miss Wendy are you really Mr. Alba's girlfriend? What did he find out? Of course, I am why would I risk my life to save an irrelevant man? Why? Mr. Alba's life revolved around home and work I've even never heard he has a girlfriend he isn't a kind person when he recovers. You and your family will get hurt take my advice please stop I also want to stop it's too late you're prejudiced against me Mr. Alba is in danger people around him are scheming and plotting trying to take his place miss if you have a conscience be kind right he's already skating on thin ice what are you talking about I'm complimenting her on her brilliant performance right Miss Wendy, NFF micro F degrees F one half come on let's go okay is your friend still waiting for you? No, she's left I'll take you home Wendy's ridiculous how dare she send a subpoena to my company I should teach her a lesson. Now the whole company knows that girl is asking for money I'm disgraced Wallace, Wendy is an ill bred girl she poured a drink all over me when I went to talk about the alimony the other day Uncle Ween. Wendy is fooling around with a star for the money, too, I suppose dad Wendy's a bad egg she's the worst she picks on mom and my sister I must teach her a lesson about discipline and manners what are you doing, Wendy? Hurry up and have breakfast it's getting cold I'm coming clean up after you're finished I'm going to work okay sis, it's warm I just poured it thank you, Timmy Sherry. How did you educate the kids? I'm very disappointed in you your bad mother Wallace Ween how dare you abuse my mother show some respect Wallace Ween's top. Marco calm down you're still dumb do you want to beat your father? Sherry, look at your son. Wallace Ween, you have no right to throw your weight around here and you also have no right to hit Marco calm down, Marco I'll never let anyone bully you. Ever you and Timmy will always be my dear brothers I'll always protect you calm down Wendy, how could you push me? You have no shame F1 quarter F3 quarters F1 quarter, take care of Marco Wendy Webnev I have no shame? You came to our home, abused and hit my family Wallace Ween, you're the one without shame Sherry, did you teach her that? Saying her father's name like that ha huh, my father? You don't deserve to be my further you spend hundreds of thousands of money on Sybil Ween and Lucy generously but you have never paid for your son's medical treatment have you ever felt responsible for us? Join me the money or talk to my lawyer don't come and scold us anymore you have no sense of shame but I do Wendy you're so thankless. Resorting to force because you're unreasonable? I'll gene you a week your major clients will recent your if I still don't get the money by then they'll know what kind of a person you are how dare you I'm not afraid of you I'll protect my sister you can try if you don't believe me you'll see if I'm capable good very good you all have impressed F one quarter F micro let's go home come on east airport go to the landing window and look at the plan D 1005 through a telescope I'll do the walk through inspection well F three quarters F superscript O F degrees NF of course, I do you sound unwilling don't you want to see me working? You must be professional and handsome when working I can't wait to see it we will own in Germany at 8 o'clock p.m. local time your seat is by the window you can look out when we're in Germany because of the different lining habits in the past, East Germans prefer the yellow light, while West Germans prefer the white light you can tell East Berlin from West Berlin by the color of the lights he's careful and the meticulous he really wants. 
me to enjoy the sights we're seeing f3 quarters f superscript o f degrees n f, I'll be watching I should hang up now there will be an announcement when we reach Germany pay attention to it on he's really careful and professional a hard working man is a true man a rich guy with no bad habits like him is really rare no problems found get ready for takeoff who was Captain Alba talking to? He sounded so gentle I'm so jealous of that person I heard that the captain has a girlfriend it must be his girlfriend what's wrong with Dylan Alba? Why does he like Wendy? She's no good hello, what can I do for you? I want a cup of cold water okay, please wait a moment the AC is really high here I'm so cold can I have a blanket, please? That's her Dylan Alba just returned to work today, and she is on the same flight did Dylan Alba ask her to come? Can I have a blanket a please? Sorry, miss, the blankets have been distributed, and we have no more at present what? So soon? Yes, I'm so sorry about that. Wallace Ween, you have no right to throw your weight around here and you also have no right to hit Marco calm down, Marco I'll never let anyone bully you, ever you and Timmy will always be my dear brothers I'll always protect you calm down Wendy, how could you push me? You have no shame f1 quarter f3 quarters f1 quarter, take care of Marco Wendy Webb never I have no shame? You came to our home, abused and hit my family Wallace Ween, you're the one without shame Sherry, did you teach her that? Saying her father's name like that ha huh, my father? You don't deserve to be my father you spend hundreds of thousands of money on Sybil Ween and Lucy generously but you have never paid for your son's medical treatment have you ever felt responsible for us? Join me the money or talk to my lawyer don't come and scold us anymore you have no sense of shame but I do Wendy you're so thankless. Dylan shouldn't have spent so much on the ticket sorry, please wait a moment I'll get one for you I'll get one for you ok thanks it's 10 hours away I don't want to get sick by the time I've and I remember her she visited Dylan in the hospital is she my rival in love? is she spitting me on purpose? so many people like Captain Alba I need to be careful there are blankets why did you say that? I don't like her she's our passenger first, a distinguished guest of Eastern Airline. The captain's girlfriend second how could you lie to a client as a stewardess? Distinguished guest? Captain Alba must have bought the first class ticket for her you knew that, but you still made it difficult for her aren't you afraid that the captain will kick you out of group when he finds out? I can't force myself to be nice to her Tammy, I just can't fine, calm down and service other guests I'll send her the blanket I gave up my life and became a stewardess to serve others for Dylan Alba I have done so much for him why did he choose you, Wendy the lights in East Berlin and West Berlin are really distinct. Half of them are yellow, and the other half are white it's so beautiful you know about, yellow lights and white lights? Yes I know about that because my boyfriend told me how did he know? Is he German? No, he's the captain and he's also the co-pilot of this flight are you ok, mom? Please wipe it down you're a first class stewardess why are you so incompetent? I'm so sorry, mom humph, what's your apology good for? I paid a lot for this first class ticket and didn't expect to be dumped on I'm a celebrity but have to apologize to an upstart who should grovel nth 3 quarters f 1 quarter f micro we're truly sorry, mom how about we reimburse your cost to make up for your loss? It sounds acceptable and onlooker you made a mistake, and it's the passenger who made it difficult for you are you blaming me for that? If you are out to mind somebody, you can always make up something you made too many mistakes today I can't hide it for you a deduction to your performance is inevitable the punishment will be even more severe if the captain knows about it I get rebuked and suffer grievance almost every fight, but the captain Tiffany, no offense, but what you have done for their, captain is only what you've wanted he's never asked you to do anything he even doesn't care come on stop crying there are many excellent men among your suitors why are you into an indifferent man who ignores you i only want the best man and that's still an alba since i have met the best i can't be content with anything less i just can't Munich International Airport hurry up check over the lay yl i'm finished why hasn't Dylan come out yet Dylan I'm here a man in uniform looks real good sorry, were you waiting long? I captain, you've been working hard Wendy is so acting today. 
and quite enthusiastic come on let's go don't obstruct them you refuse to gene me a blanket it's reasonable for me to get even by making you jealous eth degrees eth one half eth micro eth one quarter the company bus is waiting for us in the parking lot let's go watch your step young as she is she's good at seducing men mr alba remember your chilly public persona put on my coat it's cold here at night don't catch a cold he's so gentle i'm so jealous as if nothing happened or do you want to have supper later no no i wanna keep my figure it's weird to see the usually indifferent captain like this when he is in love f degrees f one half f micro f one quarter no more gossip the sights at night in germany are really beautiful i've seen pictures online before but it's something else to see with my own eyes dylan lequadrona is that it's the Narizar at the northern foot of the how about that? It's different from other churches baby it's Munich Cathedral don't listen I don't want to hear. Come in we will sleep in the same room? We're lovers is there a problem with sleeping in one room? Well no is it a queen room or what? It's a queen room so, there's only one bed? Well I toss and turn when I sleep I'm afraid that you're so cute what if I I don't mind besides, I thought you were clingy today? Because I'm a foreigner here, I'm a little clingy I just wanted to irritate Tiffany I shouldn't have done that I'm paying for it now. Dining room dining room room a room B you are lying to me why? Joking are you disappointed? Of course not I can finally rest the sofa is so soft I bought a team what team? A rugby team, named after you from now on, its name is the Wendy's naming a team after eth one quarter eth micro what did he do to deserve that? For me. You're the best don't belittle yourself understand you don't get it the better you are to me, the guiltier I feel you're already in danger but as the person closest to you I've been lying to you I don't deserve. You I'll have the accountant remit the money to her tomorrow she's insane if she really sends the subpoena to my clients, my business will take a severe hit it can't happen Wallace, what if she asks more after getting this morsel? You can her the money. But make sure she signs a contract to promise that she won't trouble you anymore of course, and I'll have nothing to do with those lunatics it's good to get rid of her for two million, so that Wendy will be kicked out of high society and Ian Jordan will see who she really is mourning Dylan. The water is full will he be my first kiss? She's still so nervous am I too impatient? Choking back gulp you're labeled from now on, you're mine. Hotel restaurant have some milk control yourself. Please it's so blatant shall I say something to break the ice? Wendy, what's that little red spot on your neck? Mosquitoes are all over the place this time of year that's what Dylan meant by labeling shy did. The captain nam the mosquito what's the problem? Stop, stop shut up we'll be back at 4 tomorrow morning I can show you around after breakfast time full take your time don't look at the phone it's slippery I made it I made it I'm so happy what did you do? Just school stuff eth one half eth degrees eth one half eth degrees eth one half eth degrees I couldn't help but tell him why do I want to share everything with him first. Wow, wonderful is it because I feel so safe with him that I depended on him now? That's why come on I'll take you home I'm a complete liar by the way why don't you go to Mount Tomic with me if you have time this weekend? Mount Tomic? What for? I would like to introduce you to my friends it's good maybe I can find something out about the tattooed man the commitment to say that US have nothing to do with Uncle Ween my relationship with him burned to the ground 11 years ago things wouldn't be like this if he just gave the money without all this fuss well. You don't have to do this just for 2 million please, just take it and leave alas I can't stop you take care of yourself humph, you think it's over now? What an idiot Han Ford. Psychological consultant visit date July 25th, booked I finally got an appointment she's the most famous psychologist in the city Wendy, did Lucy come here, I think I saw her at the concession stand she didn't come you must have made a mistake is that so? It's quite like her forget it I'm going to make dinner I'd better not tell mom about the money she won't say no if my aunt knows about the money and asks for it the money is for Marco and Timmy to see the psychologist no one can have well who could this be? A harasser? A scammer? Or? Hi, this is Walter I'm the music director for Alum Records well, I'm interested in the song you submitted and want to put it on Sean's new album coming out in September Earn, the famous star? 
He's Alamo Records he price for the song will be 300,000 after tax, and you own the copyright. T will send the electronic contract to your email send it back to me your bank information after you sign the price is acceptable please send me any new songs you create own the copyright so I can get royalty fees when the songs played on any music app or used for commercial performances T can earn a ton of money if it's popular three days later don't speak much when coming in. Understand? I got it they must have ulterior motives right my aunt is always afraid of meeting poor relatives like us she suddenly invited us to dinner at her home does does she know about the two million? Come in, please tt's your first time here we bought the house almost a year ago we've been waiting for a long time you don't have to bring any presents Wendy's uncle Sandy Wendy's aunt may yourselves at home we're a family sit wherever you'd like come on Marco, you sit with your cousin Wendy and Timmy. USTR with your mum Wendy. Look, T Oust bought this bracelet in Macau two days ago it's a famous brand what do you think? Wendy's cousin, I can be honest since you asked so sincerely it's ugly humph I shouldn't have asked you I used to cheap knockoffs of course, you don't have a knife for famous brands so miserly I bought the shrimp and beef especially for you try it I guess you can't afford them usually I'm too good to you we also have them at home Wendy she's so frank we did that for you you didn't thank us and acted rudely how could you talk to your elders like this? We don't deserve those besides. Would elders humiliate us when we were undesperate? Wendy today is my father's birthday why do you want to disgruntle everyone? Sarah, Wendy is your younger sister bear with her Wendy behave yourself. Well your brother is getting married so we want to have dinner together we will buy a house for him in the city you can visit us in the new house then Wendy's cousin. Leo yeah house is necessary when getting married having dinner together yeah well the money first enough so we want to borrow some from you this is why they really invited us aunt. You must be joking why should we rent a house if we have the money to buy one? Well I think your father gave you 2 million the other day why don't you have money? Sure enough but how did she know? Let me draw her out who told you this? You know how my father treats us how could? He gne me 2 million? Look it's in the text you should tell me the truth we're a family it must have been Lucy Wendy I asked you for money to buy your cousin a house people always borrow money from relatives when buying a house we're relatives we'll repay you don't be so stingy uncle, aunt, haven't you heard of a bank loan? Leo and his fiance have a good job they can pay back the loan easily we have to pay the interest on the loan why don't we keep this within the family? So you want to pay me interest? Okay, I can lend money to you the interest on a loan is about 3-5% I'll only charge you 3% since we're family how about that? Have I been good to you? She's so arrogant asking you for money is an honor hump big deal. We're a family why do you treat us like strangers? You've got dollar signs in your eyes well, many people apply for loans to buy houses but only you scoff at interest moreover, you've never helped us for the last decade or so why should we lend you the money? Dad, Mom. Give it up she likes to spill hairs Wendy we weren't rich raising your cousins was expense the past is the past don't hold a grudge the two million is for Timmy's therapy I won't lend it to anyone as they always say, illnesses like autism and depression are cries for attention well don't waste your money it's better if you give it to Leo if you're in trouble, we can also help Wendy, she didn't mean that don't take it personally suddenly don't worry what she said is nonsense Wendy. Keep your cool eth one quarter eth three quarters eth one quarter, it's meaningless. To speak let's go Sherry, how can you just leave? Yeah, I cooked a lot for you myself you're being impolite dad, mom, let her go she thinks too highly of herself. What's so great about having a little money she's so full of herself it's all because of her rich further she's nothing without her father you know nothing she has two million it's two million why don't we take advantage of her wandy thought Lucy is doubtful, but I have to make sure well, find out where the number was sold, first, getting the nearby surveillance video then. I'll know who bought the sim card half an hour later my computer skills are so rad being reborn isn't all it's cracked up to be, but I did get the golden touch am I living an extraordinary life. It's Lucy who sent the message to my aunt Lucy, how should I get even with you for this, Wendy, I ran into Julia and Judy in the mall bathroom today pissing me off. What happened? 
I heard that they slandered you because Lucy bought them it's infuriating I recorded it listen yourself you're pretty smart eth one half eth degrees eth one half eth degrees eth one half eth degrees yes, I am Wendy deserved to be framed because she likes Ian Jordan and wrote him a love letter she has no shame but she's too stupid to trust Lucy she looks sophisticated I thought she was clever what a waste of beauty right she's so stupid that her father abandoned her don't say that it makes me feel sorry for her this recording is at the right time I'm gonna square up with Lucy today how? Looking forward to it since she told lies about me to Ian Jordan. I'll ruin her plans I'm going to register a new account and send the recording to Ian Jordan one good turn deserves another wow you look like a hacker, Wendy when did you learn this? I learned it recently you wouldn't believe me if plus I tell you it's attached to my rebirth Wendy you're so different now it makes you quite attracting don't fall for me it's a waste of time what? This isn't my friend is it a virus? Well. I'd like to listen. Lucy is good at kicking people down the ladder. She was so generous when she brought us to slander Wendy but she won't even lend us money now. Lucy that gossip about Wendy being a bad girl and having flings with a lot of boys off campus, started with you if I haven't heard the rumors, Wendy and I probably I didn't do that I've been framed in, I've always been good to Wendy you know that why would I do that? You know whether you're good to Wendy don't argue I'm not arguing Wendy is with a rich man you've seen it yourself this is obvious Wendy doesn't have money she'll do anything to get some how can you think so badly of me? And Wendy who recorded it? Who sent it to Ian? Wendy? I've fooled her for three years she suddenly leveled up yet a lake must have taught her something Wendy, you're no match. For me two days late to Mount Tomic Club Wendy. Let me introduce they are my four cousins this is my girlfriend, Wendy hi, nice to meet you I just wanted to find the tattooed man, but there are four when did he get a girlfriend? How come we didn't know? I have no idea and don't dare ask it's a bit odd that we get together let's play cards Dylan is a genius in math and physics will lose a lot of him Dylan, we're playing for fun come on, let's have some fun don't be so serious you can play with Wendy please go easy on me. They started playing but Wendy was thinking about tattoo man it's difficult to find out who the tattooed man is so soon Dylan Alba lost his memory he knows these people because Mr. Lee told him otherwise, I can learn more from him lol web novel king you two go easy don't bully our little sister-in-law, Boca Dylan Alba's younger cousin, Chad Albright, don't play Dylan may feel awkward pass you and Carla really into the game I haven't played for two rounds Dylan Alba's older cousin. Harry Alba Dylan Alba's older cousin, Harold Alba eth one half eth degrees eth one half eth degrees eth one half eth degrees enjoy yourself don't let me win Chad Alba's behavior isn't suspicious but Mr. Lee has said that he is the closest one to the family he'll benefit the most if something happens to Dylan Alba's Harry Alba and Harold Alba are respectful to Dylan Alba they also don't look or sound like the tattooed man but the tattooed man might be in the employ of one of them as for Carl Alba, he doesn't talk much it's hard to judge from his voice, but his body is like the suspect Dylan Alba's older cousin, Carl Alba oh, no he is looking at eth one quarter eth micro will it alert him if he's the tattooed man? Calm down don't avert your gaze and tilde eth three quarters eth superscript o eth micro averting my eyes will be strange and make me look guilty I'm finished thanks for letting me win I didn't expect Wendy to be able to count cards. Well how should I test him out without making him suspicious? Don't be so formal Cal, this is yours thank you. I'm so sorry let me help you you don't have to I've got it let me do it for you it do yourself can't he clean it up by himself? You've never been so attentive to me well, we're going to the boxing gym I also want to I haven't seen if there's a tattoo on his arm you're not going anywhere stay here what happened? Nothing okay, good are you unhappy? Why does he always angry? Did I do something to him? Touch don't you understand? Do you want a drink? Shall I get you a drink? Tequila? Whiskey? Or? No, I have a flight tomorrow I can't drink 12 hours before after this flight, I have to attend the conference in Europe for 10 days and it'll take a while to get there and back I'll be out of the country for about half a month really? I don't have to lie for about half a month and I can take the chance to test how long I can leave him great are you glad? I'll miss you know.
of course not come right back after the meeting this is a pass to the Mount NTH 3 quarters F 1 quarter N tilde club when I'm abroad, you can come and have some fun here if you're bored you can walk right in with it well, I need to go to the bathroom I'm going to the jujitsu gym come find me later don't run around he's so good to me I must find that attitude man for him welcome to the Mount NTH 3 quarters F 1 quarter N tilde club come in, please. My brother is really close with Chad Elba from Bright City Pharmaceuticals, he got a VIP card for me, it's just a single use one, though, we can only use it tonight we can only use it tonight hey, cheer up let's make the most of tonight then this is a rare chance Miss Bill hello, hello think about it while wheeling it up, rubbing shoulders with the upper class in a fancy venue. She's in the slums watching TV with her weird brother's how sad President Lee, your heir to, wh ash inverted exclamation mark d have thought it let's grab a drink she's just not on our level, don't put yourself down with her eyes not necessary when Wendy what is she doing here? It looks like she's still got a Mount Tomic pass bracelet on that's a big deal let me see the jujitsu jimmies on the fourth floor she must have used some dirty tactics to weasel her way in with the upper class. Who is she aiming for this? Time, I wonder? It's obviously not going to be that Z-list actor again saying that, if that guy's surname was really Alba, he might be some distant relatney of the Albas even if he's distant, he's got good blood, if he were looking for someone at his level, he'd never pick someone like her true come on, let's follow and see what happens there's only one route to the gym? What was the designer thinking? Hey, beautiful are you alone? Remove your hand this is an Alba family club. Don't make me get rough woo I spicy come on I just want you to share a drink with me, leans in you want to make a movie? Go to fashion week? I can make it happen what is your name? Call me Ken Alba, you've heard my name before, right? That's Ken Alba, a distant Alba, he's also the least educated and biggest playboy of the lot. Twendy has some pretty rough taste let him kiss that pretty little mouth of yours I guess that's all she can get her hands on. What happened? Has something happened? Sir what's going on sir, are you okay? Mr. Alba, ready to fight do you still want that kiss? Looks like Ken wasn't the one that Wendy was after this guy has a really bad temper, Dylan is the only person that can ever calm him down poor Wendy now we get a real show to enjoy you you should be grateful teach this a lesson Carl Alba what's he doing here? Just when I'm in trouble, he comes running has he been watching me the whole time? Actually, what really matters is that he knows Kung Fu Och, so it was Carl Alba that Wendy was after all along Carl's relationship, with Dylan is so distant that they know each other at best, so no one really thinks of him as a big deal shame Wendy put in all that effort just to snag a distant relate, I guess that makes sense Cal, stay out of this, get out of the way now Wendy really pissed off Ken. I guess it's expected dogs like her can only jump so high you know Dylan is here as well today, I would ask you kindly not to cause a fuss and upset him if he's here, he's only going to be at the gym he won't hear me read the room and get out of the way, don't ruin my fun Cal, please step aside, I can take him by myself you dare to hit our boss get her get the guy out of the way first Carl you dare to hit me, you'll die for that what kind of peasant, dares to get in my wee?